How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's Sinister with the Gamer Section, bringing you another review. And today's review is on Metroland for Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The setting takes place in the not so distant future where evil corporation called Megacore runs the city with an iron fist, and they have the law enforcement on their side. A group of rebels with different skill sets are set to stop them at all costs. Graphically, Metroland has a cartoony look to it with its bright, vibrant colors. The character models have their detail from the hair to the outfits. The different locations are nicely done from the city, the park, the library, and more. And the game is presented from a third-person perspective with the camera being zoomed back to see more of the layout. Seeing Metroland reminds me of Temple Run with its endless running and collecting. The animation is fast and fluid and running smooth at 60 frames per second on high-end platforms like the Series X, which I'm reviewing on. And however, on lower end platforms, they run at 30 frames per second, but the Switch port, you can take this with you. Uh, the music is okay, with the tone appealing to younger players. The sound effects are here are cool. For, for example, if you're running in the city, you can hear the sirens from the enforcement vehicles coming through. Uh, there are different HUDs, like the meter at the bottom, for example, is due to completing objectives. The devs did good with the presentation overall. Metroland is an endless running game. Not only you have to avoid the law chasing you, but do challenges too. Before each race, there are different characters to choose from, but the others have to be unlocked. The controls are simple. Basically, you run between three planes, left, middle, and right. And your runner can jump and roll respectively while avoiding the law. If, if one thing, if the runner bumps into something light, you know, the law will catch up with you. If you run into something hard like walls or objects, it's an automatic game over. And when you start again, the layouts and challenges change as well. You can collect a certain amount of coins for until that challenge is complete, until the next challenge comes. Collecting items that helps build your hideout where you can get improvements on your skills like multipliers, double jumps, magnets, and more. Overall, this is a big collectathon. Fans of Temple Run will try this out. One issue I encounter in this game is the repetitive gameplay because this gets boring real quick because you'd be doing the same things over and over again. It'd be nice to have an online mode or a local call just to spice things up. Uh, next is for the lower end platforms that only run at 30 frames per second, which I mentioned in the presentation segment. And also, there's not enough content for long gameplay sessions, you know, that hurts the experience overall. And finally, for the achievement hunters and trophy hunters, you know, it's, it's easy to collect and, you know, all of them. And after you're done with it, you don't want to play it anymore. I give Metroland a 2 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in to the best place for gaming. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel.